those that don't know, I bleached my hair two weeks ago. I have never been blonde before, so this is a very recent thing. That's and why you looked at it. Yeah, because I, 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 <laughs> I'm naturally your hair, hair, your hair, hair, hair color, sorry. Um, but I, I'm usually brown, like dark brown. So I did my hair recently. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that. So I, mean, I need a new headshot. But I'm going to Battle of BC, so if I don't get one here, I'll probably just get one in Vancouver instead. Mm -hmm. So I know there's people going to that. But yeah, Marv Ditto Tame. Starting on Battlefield. We are in Tri-State, so this is the classic. I remember I see a Marv Ditto, we we'll say it right now in my head. I just like, the way I enjoy it more is I start playing Yakety Sax in my head. <laughs> they, just, they just they swing all the time. Like, this, this is what happens in a Marv Ditto. <laughs> Let me tell you what, the crowd here will probably be very much behind Stango. Yeah. One of the, I mean, the original person to hold the title, the moniker King of Philadelphia. It's literally in the trailer for the event. Yes. <laughs> it's yeah. literally in the trailer. <laughs> yep. Su succeeded only by Slug. Yeah. <laughs> he he, he Slug. literally gave him the approval and they shook hands. It was a Creed and Apollos, um, a Creed and Rocky sort of thing. Yep, yeah. exactly. So now here, Balboa trying to get like some kind of like, you know, resurgence this, right here. This may be, I'm, I'm usually an unbiased commentator, this may be the first time in my life I've ever cheered against Crike. Oh, He's wow. such a yeah. wonderful person. It's Stango, but yeah. Somebody who's been around forever. Yeah, my history with Stango is more so from like online because I see him a lot um, in Zoso chat back in the day. I would see him kind of mm. pop in and hang out with us. He, he knows a couple of New England people, so I would see him pop in every once in a while for our chats. Really good dude. He hosts us a lot for like the PMC. I know uh, my friend Stude, big Stango fan. Shout out to Stude out there. Hope he's watching or hanging out. Mm -hmm. So has a lot of good connections today also. A lot of mutual so you know, respect to him. My introduction to Stude, I think, was actually in Dragon Ball commentary. Really? Like DBC so. Fighters? Yes. That's yeah. crazy. I didn't yeah. think he did that. I know a lot of people tried that out early on. I think he did it at Shine early, yeah, somewhat early in the game's life. It was like Shine 2018 probably? I remember he was at that. First or second one, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I know he went to one of those. That's why I met him in the first place. I think it was 2018. Yeah, it makes sense. That was a fun Shine. Okay, forward smash just barely whiffs. Off to the top platform we go. Mm -hmm. And Krikes, Ooh. yeah, what a conversion. A few yeah. forward airs into a land on the side that, plat forward smash. That's a Marv Ditto moment. Like, just like just ride, just ride the aerial a couple times, just like ride the train. That's what you, that's what you see a lot in this matchup, guys. It's like a lot of tilts, a lot of forward airs, a lot of forward smash. That's, that's the story of this, no matter how they kind of implement it. Okay, yeah, Stango able to weasel his way underneath of Krike, but not the biggest punish, just a little bit of damage. Mm -hmm. And I think that the difference in how far he's been able to go with each exchange is the difference between the one stock and the three, because mm -hmm. Krike, of course, has had those wonderful conversions. Yeah, Stango only a couple hits at a time. Yeah, like he's like taking like the passive hits, whereas like uh, Krike is just like super consistent with, his, with their execution. They've been doing it like a lot throughout, especially when I was watching them in pools. They had like, a lot of their flowcharts unlocked and a lot of their punishes unlocked. But mm -hmm. Stango not going to go down with the uh, funny number percent as well. <laughs> if you can kind of keep it going. Oh, staying away, weaving away from the Nairs, trying to keep this dream alive. Yeah, Stango has a, a big dash dance through and around you into, you know, the close range stuff kind of style, which is makes a lot of other Marths uncomfortable. Craig seems equipped to handle it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't, doesn't let it get too, too, get too, too much. It'll wrap up that one. So taking the first one, pretty fast one too, I feel like. So, mm -hmm. you yeah, not only two and a half minutes, it's not bad. So I'm wondering what, what Stango's thinking for, like, counter play here. Want to run it back? I feel like it's going to be a run back. Because I feel like in this, in the ditto, like at this one, it's probably doesn't really matter for stage It really depends on your style. If you want, if you want space, go to Dreamland. Don't want to like just like do raw aerials and fourth. I just go to FD. Want like more close proximity. Just like just go ham on each other. You know, this is probably the play. But I think this is fine. Yeah, Stango can think about his counterplay very often, pretty specifically. So I don't think the stage plays as much a of a factor yeah. for him, especially in the mirror, of course, as it would for some other players. Yeah. Because yeah, he's, he's someone he's, like he's, you, you've seen it a lot, you probably know better than I would, too. He's all about those, like, little micro differences. Mm -hmm. um, like, they're doing this thing a lot, so I'm going to respond with, you know, option B or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, that's what he's all about. Go for the down air. Well, I could, oh, just rolls away from the side B, yeah. I see, I, I see people go for that light show a lot, but people are like, all right, I'm just going to get away from there. Just STI out and not bother. <laughs> Doesn't make it back. Crank right. again taking the first stock. Looking clean and poised, but... A couple hits from Stango might just be able to turn us right back around. Yeah, it's just the conversion rate, I think, is the real issue right now. Yeah, that's a big thing. It's like I think Krike's more confident in their uh, combo game. Yeah, I mean, they're both pretty mobile. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. I bet the amount of neutral exchanges traded is somewhat similar. Yeah. And whereas like, I feel like, yeah, it's because comes down to the flowchart. Uh, ooh. Okay, hold on. This is big for Stango. I think he can right back up. Yeah, another spot. I feel yeah, the spot has been pretty big for Krike, and especially in this game. I think he's done like twice now where he'll just spot dodge away, and then not, there'll be no fall from Stango afterwards, too. Okay, <laughs> pokes the forward smash. This, this, that's that, always a funny moment. That's a classic Marv Ditto thing. They'll just down till they just die or like they go off stage afterward. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Doesn't grab the ledge. Instead goes for the on-stage edge guard. Mm -hmm. And Craig able to hit the sweet spot. Yeah, okay. gets him up above the stage. Gonna come down. Okay, yeah, now he has to, yeah, he's dead. Has to up B. No way. 
Because once you just four them off stage, probably use your jump, there's no way they make it back at that point. Espe Mario Crash guarding himself is really funny. Yeah, especially the weak forward air, right? Because it doesn't send them up at all. Yeah, that's yeah. what you want to offer that in a lot of situations, especially against like carriers like this. You just want them to be able to go nowhere. Because you do it against Fox, well, he just, he just goes up and he, and he up Bs. And here, it's, yeah, same deal. Just hit him. He goes nowhere. He's too far away to up B because it's for his horizontal recovery. He re relies on side B. But you're also falling at the same time you do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, a couple of grabs of fast mash from Stango. I can actually hear him scrubbing the dish from over here. <laughs> you, hear that, you hear that? Yeah, it's, I'll, I'll just look closer because I'm like still focused on the game audio too. <laughs> it pierced through the headphones. For me. <laughs> okay, a couple of photos, yeah. Yeah, but they're just trading fares and down tilts right now. Stango has not had even the scent of center stage for yeah. the past like 15 he's been, seconds. So he's been flying out of the corner off of platform like, like the entire time where yeah. the Craig is like, I'm going to stay on the ground at least control it horizontally. And oh, Thundercats though. So maybe you want to kind of start to run this back. But it's, it's just felt, you know, Stango, Stango controls the platforms whereas Craig controls center stage and like the edge. Yeah, and I mean, center stage and the ground and Martha does is very powerful. Yeah, it is like huge. So you, you, you dictate, okay, I'm going to do this right here. You're going to run in. You're in the corner. I'm going to go. I'll come forward like a down tilt, which you've seen a lot from Craig in this set. Hey, yep, a couple of um, retaliatory hits from Stango, but still taking yeah. damage, and it's too much. Yeah, too far away. It goes right above the ledge, and yeah, Craig's going to wrap that one up real quick. Looking poised. So, Craig on set point, and will be in top eight should they get another one, but Stango probably, I imagine, might just go back or try something else. Do you think we'd see the Fox or no? Um, it's a possibility, but my heart right now is saying no. Yeah, I'm thinking no, too. He's thinking about it, but I'm pretty sure he's thinking about it. Nope, well. Yeah, yeah, he heard me. He was yeah. proving me wrong. Yeah, let's say He's like, yeah, <laughs> I heard that, guys. Yeah. Um, for those of you that don't know, Stango plays Fox in other um, Smash games, and is quite good at it. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> That's it, because no, I figured I'd keep doing a lot of PM stuff, too. Yeah, I think, uh, like, ranked fourth or something <laughs> with the Fox. Sounds about right. Okay, so here, change up a list a little bit. Uh, I haven't seen I haven't seen Crack against Spacey's today. I think his pool match I said was him versus Panos. Look uh, at that Panos, edge but guarding. That was brilliant. Oh, Crack had was off the side and just had no chance of making it back. Yeah. Oh, I like the high nair to cover the landing on Platt. That should be probably dead. Old ledge, yeah. And you know the edge guard from Crack equally as strong, answering right back. We're back to three three. Mm-hmm. And now it's like, you know, oh, now, yeah, now Stango has more control of or have more of a scent of center stage, where in the last, in the last <laughs> minute it's felt like, you know, it's been so correct, but now it's a roll reversal here. Couldn't get a whiff of it, yeah. Yeah, now he's, now he's definitely more in the driver's seat. One of the spooky things as Fox is when you're playing against someone like Crike, mm -hmm. you do the forward drill to beat their down tilt, and they're just able to SDI right out and get a counter yeah. hit. And they just say, yeah, I think, like, someone who's really good at it is Cody, and I like, watch him against Zane. He's, like, so good at escaping, like, stuff like that from Zane, <laughs> which really leads to, like, this huge punch as he usually gets on him now. Yep. Oh, Ooh, even with the sweet spot, he's able to follow up with that, too. I thought maybe you want the weak hit to kind of send him in front of him, at least. Oh, beats him beats with the down tilt. No. Nice. That's Good stuff from Craig to keep that going, despite getting hit a couple times and not probably the ideal hitbox, but still made it work. Yeah, Craig's edge guarding has been uh, pretty outstanding. Yeah. In this set, I would say. I think for like the whole day, he's been doing a really good job of it, too. Okay, Nair's kind of into and through Stango to get to center stage. Not a common tactic you see from Ooh. Marth, but it's got to be part of why it worked. And nice finish. Yeah, that was a brilliant 1-2 uh, edge guard. Here's another one gets the grab. Went for the down throw tech chase, but then re reads it wrong, and, and Stango gets away from it. But it's looking pretty grim if Stango can't get anything going right now. Right, taking their time. Should we get caught? Ooh, great SDI. Staying alive, but Stango has to think about how he's going to get this stock right now, how to advance forward. But Krike not giving much breathing room. That should be it. Yeah. Beautiful reverse up B, and yeah, Crike, 3 oh, looking very poised towards the end of that. And we went on the top eight. Yeah, so the conversions were lights out. If that continues, I think, you know, there could be another one of those long Creed losers runs yeah. on their hands. Yeah, got third last year. Might be looking to change that this year. Maybe go for the crown this time, you know? 